Welcome back to the Insurance Truth. I'm Cody from Scourge Mentor. I am sitting with Mr. Christian. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Cody. Yeah, good to be here. Appreciate you being on, man. Christian is from, he's a final expense agent. He's from Columbus, Ohio. Go H-I-O. He, why'd you come down today? I came down because uh, I'm always looking for education and nuggets. As a final expense agent, I'm always trying to improve my game. Absolutely. And, uh, you and me both. Cody and I have, we've, you know, I've been following Cody for some time, had the opportunity to come down here and meet with him today. And uh, so we've gotten a lot of good things uh, flushed out, uh, just some things that I'm doing. This, this, you know, this industry is all about numbers, but there's, yep. there's also people side. And one thing I learned today is taking time to listen, which is mm. a hard thing to do when you're trying to build rapport and finding out that why when you're meeting with people. Yep. And uh, so that's pretty important. What, yeah. uh, as, as far as like, as far as like selling final expense in Ohio, you know, you can, we get a lot of new agents who are like, Hey, right. I'm new. I don't know what to do. Help me. You know, what, what would you say? You know I mean? When you're figuring it it's out. It's cold. Dude, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's real cold. But, uh, and I say that tongue in cheek because, you know, in the in Northern States, I know, I know a lot of the good producers, you know, you look at the weather, you obviously got to look what's going on. Cause yep. sometimes you're going to have to be knocking on doors. Uh, you know, chasing a few people down. So no matter what the weather is, you got to be prepared for it, and Absolutely. you got to get out there, rain or shine, just like exactly. the postman. Exactly. You know. Exactly. What, what, what's what's been what's been the secret to your success so far? Maybe it's not a secret, but maybe it's something you've done. Like you're like, okay, these are some things that I've done in my business that have actually really yeah. that have really helped you. Yeah. I you know for me, um, I was just thinking about this the other day. Is I focus on okay, what am I doing right? Yeah. I don't focus on, we all know That's what good. our weaknesses That's can good. be. We know what we need to improve on. But I learned a long time ago, um, being a former educator and when I helped vocational students uh, with their jobs, um, apprenticeship programs, we always focused on, hey, what are you doing right? What do you like about this job? Well, and and, and yeah. what would you say you do right? You're like, you know what, I'm good at this. You know, I enjoy sitting down with people. I enjoy talking That's with good. them. I enjoy their story. Uh, I don't care what situation it is. If I'm sitting on an edge of a couch, on an edge of a chair, yeah. or reclined back, I want them to be. Um, I want it to be a comfortable and pleasant situation uh, because these are these are older people. These are seniors, and uh, the big reason I got into this business is because. Um, uh, Basically, my mom didn't have coverage. Uh, mm. I got her coverage. Cody was the first policy I ever wrote, wow. and um, and actually wrote her a second one later when I could save her a little bit of money, do what's affordable and right. And unfortunately, she died unexpectedly eight months later. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. So I know my reason why. That's your why. So when I look at the things I do right, my why is a big part of that. Exactly. Um, and you have to know your why. So if you can figure that out, why you're out here, why you're helping people. If that's what you want to do, obviously you're going to make money, um, but you listen to the story, and that's what I do right. Absolutely. So yeah. as far as – that was a that was a great write, by oh, the way. That was awesome. Thanks, man. As far as what would you say maybe you've done wrong or you're not great at or you've, you've noticed, hey, Christian from Ohio needs to improve at that. I need – I need lots of improvement, but and I – We would, all we all yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. I would say um, being consistent – uh, I've been in situations where I've had to do a lot of organizing um, with the different companies. I've, I've worked for a couple different companies mm -hmm. and multiple companies at times, um, you know, uh, depending on how you're set up as a final expense agent. Right. Uh, there's a lot you can put on your plate. You just got to keep it very, keep it very simple. Uh, when I don't keep it very simple, it, it becomes complex. I overthink things. Um, myself gets in the way, my head gets in the way, my mind isn't right. Why is that? Because it's it's tough to stay focused on what the task at hand and and and, and get out and work. Because yeah. you work and you yeah. can tell. I mean, this yeah. this dude works. This dude is impressive. I've sat down with him and I've been impressed and I've taken away and learned more from our meeting than I guarantee you he did. It's been good. It's been really good. I'm serious. That. Well, you know, you gotta know you gotta know how to work. This this business is. It's simple, but honestly, it's not easy. That's a great way to put um, it. Simple, but not easy. Mm -hmm. Wow. You just, you just got to work at it. And what you're not good at, you do need to improve upon. There, there's systems and processes with uh, whatever company, whatever brokerage you're with. Um, you have to follow that. Uh, exactly. Are you going to be perfect? No. 
you got to work on improving that. I came down here to meet with Cody to, to improve upon some things. And um, it is a game of numbers, but at the end, it's really, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a professional business that you have to get better at. In education, you're always learning. You're always going to be learning in this business, no matter what profession you're in, especially ours, because it's it's not exactly. easy. Exactly. And said said yeah. said said well from a yeah. uh, previous educator and teacher yourself. Yeah. It's like, you know what? And we're going out. We're educating the general public. Right. We're helping them. We're we're, we're having that teacher's right. heart. Right. That teacher's mentality of helping, right. building rapport, building right. a relationship. I, I guarantee you, that's something that you're great at. Face to face, being genuine, getting trust building rapport I guarantee you you're fantastic at it thanks man I, I you know I just that's the easy part when we're talking about working with people yep. is I really care about them I may not know a whole lot and I think I'm not sure um, Einstein or somebody who's a unknown author said people don't sure. care how much you know until they know how much you care Ooh. it really is the truth Christian's um, dropping bombs on the insurance yeah. truth man I love so, it I like it you know and um, how, so, how, how else can you help like as an agent, tell me one thing that was like a struggle for you, and you're like, you know what? As soon as I overcame that, or I fixed that, or I, or I took that struggle away, that it really helped your business. The big thing, and I'll, I'll dial it down to a small thing. The big thing is fear of failure. Okay, okay. it's okay if you fail. Mm. There's nothing wrong with it. Yep. Um, so one of the things that I was bad at, still working on it. Uh, in fact, I gotta get on the phone here as soon as I leave Cody. Exactly. Uh, is the phone setting up appointments? I've had people do it for me. It's not near as good as when you do it because you get a lot of experience from it. Absolutely. Um, whether you're new at this or you've been doing this a long time, because you may not have that appointment setter accessible. And they might be out sick or you might not have one. Yeah. Uh, and people really want to hear your voice that you're gonna sit down and meet with. So I think the best setter can be the person that's actually gonna sit down with the person. So for me, it's picking up that phone, making those dallies, putting down those uh, the, the tally marks. Why are agents yeah. maybe not always 100% scared? Maybe it's just something we don't want to do. We don't enjoy it. What is it about picking up the phone? And yeah, you can door knock, but we need to be doing both. What is it about picking up the phone? Outside of maybe the fear of it not working well for you or getting started, for me, I think it's the fear of the unknown. Yeah. Um, and you know, honestly, once I get started and I get that first appointment, maybe even get that first no or two, or, or I'm ten. not interested or 10, Yeah, I know it's going to be that next one that's going to say yes. And it's kind of like golf. You make a good hole, you keep coming back. But I think once you start, you just pick up the phone and you start, even if you're, you're dialing, uh, bogus styles, you know, you're calling that number two and three times just to put that tally down, whatever you got to do. And I'm a big Star Wars fan. Jedi mind trick your mind <laughs> <laughs> to pick up that phone. You do whatever it takes, and that's a lot of this business. Um, I love that. You know, whatever whatever it takes. You got to find what works best for you, and that's the reason I did this today with Cody. Is whatever I can share. We all learn from each other. Um, again, constantly learning, and um, I love this business. I love helping people. Uh, this is my. It shows. You know, this is my career. I want to get as as good as I can with it. I love it. Christian, thank you very much, yeah, buddy, Cody. for being on the Insurance yeah. Truth, for Thanks coming for all me. the sure. way to the office to hang out. To, oh, that's oh I O, baby, to get yep. to uh I really enjoyed it. So thank sure. you for the thank you, you for bet, the mentorship, man. the relationship, the friendship. Thank you, Cody. Getting Learned to hang out, getting to help some agents while yeah, you're down. Hope so. Yep. So thank you, buddy. Absolutely. Thanks for watching Insurance Truth. If you got value from this, you're like, you know what? I love this. Give us a like. If you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're going to be dropping more. I can't promise they'll always be as good as the interview with Christian, but I can promise you they'll be great. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day. Appreciate you guys.